I did want to ask you about another headline that I saw this week, and that was about something that's being dubbed the boomerang meteorite. As I understand it, this theory is that the rock was from Earth, then blasted into space years ago, we're talking about here, obviously, when an asteroid hit, only to return. It sounds like a pretty unique scenario. Uh, yeah, it may turn out not to be that unique, but this is certainly the first example of a meteorite that shows signs of having come from our own planets. Most meteorites come from the belt of asteroids between the planets Mars and Jupiter, or between their orbits. This one, uh, with its characteristic, what's called a fusion crust, where its uh, surface has melted in its uh, hot passage through the Earth's atmosphere, uh, it's made of rock, which is the same as volcanic rock on Earth. Uh, and it shows characteristics that it has been in space for perhaps 10,000 or so years. Um, you can measure that by the effect of cosmic rays on its surface. Uh, so the big mystery with this rock is what happened to throw it into space in the first place. And the scientists who've worked on this think it might be due, exactly as you've said, to an asteroid impact perhaps 10,000 years ago. The puzzle is you'd expect to see a crater from an, an asteroid that recently uh, impacting the Earth. And we don't know of any craters big enough that are, are, are young enough to have caused this phenomenon. So it's a bit of a mystery, like so many things in astronomy and space science. We wait for further information. Uh, there are many puzzles attached to it, but it does look as though this is the first known boomerang meteorite. Fred Watson, always appreciate you joining us and helping us understand uh, some of those puzzles, as you say, and helping how the, us understand how the pieces might come together eventually. Fascinating research, research coming through. Thanks for, for your time. Great pleasure. Thanks, Ash.